We play against Dr. Melzer. 2100. Okay. Um, E5 or G6? E5. Yeah, it's not always uh, the best thing to play, uh, you know, to take the uh, the queen here after exchanging. Um, hmm. Yeah, but the move E4 now, okay, he doesn't play E4. Then we switch to an uh, old Indian or the king's Indian. Uh, so we transfer to the king's Indian very soon, where he already committed to knight D7, which is uh, the old line, the old classical line. Um, here, uh, queen C2 and uh, bishop E3 are um, the moves I like. Yeah, let's play queen c2. Rook e8. Okay. What if I play now d5? This rook is not very well positioned now on e8, and um, let's see h6. Okay, no h6. I play before the next move. Um, I didn't want to play uh, bishop e3 because of knight g4. The other option was to play uh, bishop to h4. Um, but I think I'm here quite okay. Let's t take on a1 back. Aha. Uh -huh. So. I'm threatening knight a7 to take this bishop here because this bishop is quite useful for black to support the attack on the king side and let's transfer the knight to d3 and I will follow up with a quick uh, c5 pu push um, I don't know, I, I think I like to take uh, take the, the bishop now I rather expected rook a8 by the way, but um, okay. Um, knight d3 is a very bad move because he can just win the pawn on e4. Well done. <sighs> um, this is a problem if you play too quick and don't think about your moves. Yeah, and he thinks that I, uh, you know, maybe he thinks I did it on purpose, but I didn't. Um, what's the best way to defend now? This pawn. Yeah, because I want to push for c5. Here we go. The queen is unprotected, so I threaten to take on b6. Um. 
Um, is this a problem? Rook b1, queen a7, bishop e3, followed by bishop f2, or something like this. Um, I just play bishop e3 first. Yeah, I mean the whole uh, opening went out quite well for white because um, I have a nice play on the queen side and his pieces are not very well coordinated here on the king side. Um, I mean, the knight here on e8 is, you know, doing nothing. And I think I just block here everything and then concentrate um, to focus my forces around uh, the c7 pawn or the 8th rank, so rook b7 for example and then later on knight b4, knight a6, everything here on, on the uh, c7 um, bishop d2, bishop a5 Yes, I can kick the knight away also. I mean, h3 doesn't look too good because of the weakness on g3, but I mean, where does he want to go with the knight? Then maybe I could also try something. Okay, yes. Um, Bishop h6, maybe his idea. Okay. Um. Maybe I just exchange queens. Queen a2. I lose a tempo, that's true, but uh -huh. Queen C five, this idea. Yeah, let's let's um, do this. I need to hurry up again. Oh, rook f3. This is maybe his chance, but I think it's not enough. Um, queen h4. F3 but I can take maybe here on E8 also with the knight yeah I think the seventh ra uh, rank is very strong now for me okay and now he just lost on time yeah but um, I mean you can see that um, the whole set up here on the queen side that um, was really good for white 
and the attack of black was a bit late. I mean, I needed to take care here about all these sacrifices. Uh, rook f3, maybe he has a perpetual, um, or he wins at least a couple of pawns, but in the end, I mean, the 7th rank is, is too strong. I just threatened to take on e8, and the bishop on g7 is also history. The knight on h6 is stranded. All these pieces, I mean, ex except maybe the rook here on, on f8, are really passive. The queen is the only piece of black that is doing a lot, and um, and the rook here is also a bit dangerous. But the pieces of black uh, of white are much more better placed, and and this pawn on c6 anyway is uh, almost queening. So um, I think crucial part of the game was rather around here in this, this setup. I mean, black lost time by playing rook e8. When I closed the center, and then he needed to play, um, move uh, the rook back, and um, so I won, won a bit of time on on the queen side, and he's just a bit, bit slow, um, with his his attack. I think uh, also king h7 is not uh, necessary to do, but yes, yeah. Yes, a problem that he is a bit slow on. So you need to be much faster when you play the king's Indian, pushing very quick for f5 uh, and f4, and then you need to attack here the, the the white king. But it's also good then if you can keep the bishop on c8, uh, because from time to time it's good if you can sacrifice a bishop on h3. And just imagine position here, which uh, came later on. Uh, something like this where I have a pawn on h3 and sometimes you also put the pawn if black um, chooses not, uh, earlier to play g5 and g4 here a bishop on c8 would be quite nice uh, because you can always sacrifice and try to enter here on the king's side thanks for watching